we're back. So ignore my hair. I haven't washed it yet. I just took my braids out last night, okay? But welcome back to the channel. So this vlog is going to be a girls night. I'm hosting a girls night, as you can see from the little gifts or whatever. But I wanna show you guys my process and also the girls night. So I just decided that if this goes well, I wanna do this like once or twice a year with my girls. You know, I feel like as girls, we just need this. We need to like come together sometimes and just have fun and just be girls. So I just randomly decided to do it out of nowhere. <laughs> and everyone was on board. Everyone's schedule was fine for that date. So we were good. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys everything I have to do, how I'm setting the place up, etc. I bought like so much pink shit because that's the theme. I have everyone dressing in pink and then I'm gonna like decorate this place in pink. So <laughs> that's the girls night. All right, so I guess today I'm gonna like scrub this house clean, like clean, clean, because I'm just the type of person when people come over my house, I need it to be spotless. And then I'll start decorating once everything is clean so that we have a clean canvas. So let's start doing this. Start with the kitchen because it's kind of a mess right now. So we need to just clean all of this up and organize it. I also bought these super cute cups from um, Ross. I seen them randomly and I was like, imagine girls night where everything is pink and blah, blah, blah. So I got these for the girls. Yeah, no, I don't drink, but I'll take a little sip. Okay, so I told homegirl Alexis to make a cute drink to go in these cups, so. Hopefully that works out, but let's start with this kitchen, living room area and get all this done. Oh, we got the cleaning supplies. We about to go to work, okay. Some live for the bills. Okay, so the only thing left I have to do is vacuum, but everything is pretty much clean. So all the girl stuff that like all the decorations and stuff I put in those boxes. So I'm going to start unloading all of that and just putting it in here. So that way tomorrow I can start decorating and stuff and just get it out the way. But now I'm going to clean upstairs and then the house will be done and ready. This might just be a me thing, but does anyone else like to spray their mattress and like headboard before they put on clean sheets? like with some sort of like scent. This one is um Diesel. I forget the name of it, but it's really, really strong. So it lasts like a week. I don't know, I just love a clean smelling bed. So bathroom and bedroom is clean. I just have to vacuum. I put like carpet fresh down. Um, So I just have to vacuum the whole place, vacuum downstairs, and then the whole house is clean and ready to be decorated. So I'm gonna start low key decorating just because if I lay everything out, I'll be able to tell what I still need. So I'm just gonna start decorating and see if I'm missing anything before girls night. So cute, so much pink stuff, y'all, I'm so excited. And this is, this is like for the competition. So we're gonna like do like little clay thingies. I don't know, it's hard to explain. You'll see it in the vlog, but so excited to open this stuff, y'all. So I want like all the decor to be pink. So I bought like this little, pink area rug to put over the green one. Wait till like you see it all come together. It's gonna be cute, trust me. This is gonna be so fucking cute. Look at all this pink shit. <laughs> Mind you, all of this is mostly from Amazon, except for like little stuff like this from like Walmart. These I think were actually also from Walmart. And then this stuff is from Amazon. Those are from Ross. I'm gonna replace these with all the pink stuff and see how I like it. I'm not mad at this placement. I feel like it's cute. It matches the theme. It'll get the job done. Babe, so this is the little setup I have right now. So this is like where I'm gonna have snacks, like chips, fruit and stuff just for them to snack on until me and Alexis cook because we're cooking pasta. This will just be like our little chill area for when we start the games. And then this is where we'll eat. I'm gonna add like fake flowers and stuff. And then I have like the cutest fake candles and obviously those cups. And then I'm gonna move their gift bags. So, so far, super cute and pink. I'm just gonna get a few more tiny little things for decorations and then that's pretty much it. So I look crazy, but I just ran to surprisingly Dollar Tree for like just some little decor things like fake flowers and stuff just to put like on the table settings and like little snacks to lay out. Um, so now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and pick up a few things 
And then tomorrow I pick up Brie from the airport because she's flying in to do girls night, y'all. I'm so excited about that. I'ma drag Brie with me to the grocery store again tomorrow before the girls come over just to make sure we got everything. And then yeah, we'll get this party started. All right, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away, put these little fake flowers where they go. And then tomorrow's the big day. Here y'all, so I added the little fake flowers. It's so funny because these stems aren't long enough for the little ones. I was thinking maybe like putting something there, but I'm like, who gives a fuck? Whatever at this point. Anyways, um, so this is how the table looks. It's so cute. It looks amazing. It looks so cute. And then obviously this just looks the same as the other day. I have all this stuff though, like ready and whatever for tomorrow because I'm just gonna like put it all out tomorrow so yeah i'm super excited to get this little party started good morning pretty babies i look a little crazy but my eyes look pretty <laughs> anyways today's a new day today is the day of girls night i'm on the way to go get brie from the airport so pretty she has just landed so i'm excited to see my brie brie and then it's really early it's like 10 a.m so we're just gonna kick it i'm not gonna start setting stuff up until like 4 p.m so we have plenty of time um i might just go back to sleep to be honest <laughs> but yes we are on the way to get brie brie and today's the day okay so i picked brie up from the airport and came home and got right back in bed um it's so early it's like 10 a.m so i need all my energy for tonight okay so i'm gonna take a little nap and then we'll start the day. Yeah, I'm about to bring Brie to the best donuts in Vegas. <laughs> All right, y'all. So slowly starting to set up some stuff. Get some of it out the way. Now I'm going to take a shower and start to get ready. Yeah, I'm about to get ready. So I'm getting the shower. I'm going to do a little bit of makeup. And I'm just going to slick my hair back into a little mini bun because it's hot as fuck. And I'm going to be like moving around all night. So I really don't want to do too much with my hair. So yeah. And then my homegirl Alexis is going to be here at five. Fee is probably going to be here like 6.30 knowing her. One girl canceled. There's tea on that. And then my other girl, the other Alexis should be here around 6.37 as well. So looking good. The tea is I always say I'm going to do a little bit of makeup and always do a full beat. Okay. <laughs> can never just do a little bit of makeup anyways this is the little um pink outfit i have on i'm the host so i felt like i shouldn't be as casual as the other girls if that makes sense like when you're the host of something like i don't know but i just wanted to be like extra cute all right babe so here is the outfit my little bow in the back of my hair i can't girls night so we're getting some of the desserts ready um because i just feel like i'm not gonna want to feel like doing it later <laughs> so i'm just literally taking like strawberry icing and just gonna put it on like different shit i have like rice krispies i have pretzels because i also bought like cupcakes but i feel like maybe not everyone is like super into sweets so all right babe so me and brie are literally just chilling the other girls are about to be on their way. Okay, so Alexis has made it, y'all. Oh, I keep forgetting to vlog. It's fine. They don't care. <laughs> Chilling. Oh, wait, let me give you your gift bag. Let's see who this is. Hi. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Alexis is going to be so happy the color you're wearing. Really? Yes. Oh, hi, y'all. Everyone's here. Okay. How long does it take to make your sauce, babe? Literally two seconds. Okay, perfect. Because I want you to make a bracelet. Okay, come on. So we're about to make little bracelets and anklets. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Is it? Okay. Wait, what is yours gonna say? Okay, and mine gonna say tricks only. <laughs> so Lexus pasta is done. And the girlies are making their bracelets. Mine is already done. What is your saying, Bree? Probably gonna do golden Bree. Oh, I love that. Okay. What about you, Lex? I'm gonna do 1993, probably. 1993. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'm about to make my pasta. So that way we can eat. 
And this my glove. Let me see the other side of it. Ah, uh, that is cute. I love that. What you? What you was gonna say, Lex? Okay. We love a spiritual girly. Oh my god. She done ruined her whole anklet, y'all. Wow, I gotta restart. Oh my god. After all that hard work, bitch. Okay, so I'm making my spaghetti now. All right, so both of our pastas are done. We're just waiting on the garlic bread. I'm so excited to eat this, y'all. Y'all, Lex is making these cute drinkies. The table is set with the pasta. Mm, yum, 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 garlic bread. Look at that bread. Straight into her drink. <laughs> Not the noodle. <laughs> Not the noodle, honey. I don't even know what to say. You gotta be careful, honey. <laughs> Alfredo. Just no, get it, Brittany. Yeah, just use no. the fork. You're gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> just eat it. Eat it. I dare you. No. Eat it. Oh, I'm not gonna eat it. Oh, you're gonna eat it. Don't 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 eat I'm good. Like, like, I'm just gonna leave. But I'm on the phone. That's I'm not answering the phone. Yeah. That shit don't do not start with the ears. No, that's right. You can't never see it. In the scary movies, they always go towards the fucking day. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, what is that noise? Yeah, the love. Is anyone there? Like, if I hear something, okay. Like, uh, if I'm in my room, I hear something. I'm not. Leaving. But what if it's like, what if it's on some stupid movie shit, like The Conjuring or something? The Conjuring? Yes. No. I feel like I was no, scared. No, because I'm scared. As I was some scared I'm shit. I'm so just kill me. That's scared. Just get fucking scared. No, I can't do that. Once I hear something, all right, just kill me. I'll start speaking to Jesus. I think that would just give him away from me. I'm like, God, I know, I know you hear me right now. I know it. Okay. Um, if she dates a guy you used to date. Ooh. Uh, depends. How many years? No. I ain't never even. Oh, that's up to y'all. I hate it. I hate it. I don't know why. I've never done it. That's not for me. No. I've never dated a guy. It depends how much I gave a fuck about him. If I really didn't give too much time about him and it was still a fuck neighbor, you could have one. Why do you want to say it's so weirdo? No. It's so funny how you said 10. Uh uh uh, Bree! What? You know how to do better than So basically we play this game where I put an image on the screen and they have to try to recreate it. Whoever <laughs> she is going whoever looks the best each round out of the three rounds will win. She is so look <laughs> She's so big. Lex Wash, you're so big. <laughs> Just look at the others for inspiration, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this was round three, y'all. This is mine. Don't. 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 <laughs> ah. And she's still working on her. Wait, turn around. She's working on it. Okay. Wait, okay, so this is these are fees. This is like round one through three, y'all. So this is Alexis. This is Lex. This is mine. Look at this. Just a masterpiece. This is Breeze. Oh, you gotta bring on head. <laughs> okay. Y'all are so y'all are such haters. Literally, Lex's turtle's head is just as big as my turtle head. Look at her little body. <laughs> Look at his little foot. <laughs> Y'all a hater. You a hater. <laughs> Hating ass. But uh, Fee was the winner. Yay! She was the winner. Wait, where's Fee's at? Right here. Fee won. Surprisingly, because now that I'm looking at him. Alright. Debrief. We had a good girls' night, though. It was fun, it was fun.
was it was crazy. It was scary. Really? I was like, damn, Frontier a little bit better than this. I'm so tired. Mm. Okay, babes. So I am extremely tired from last night. Um, I have to take Bree to the airport. And then I will come back and debrief girls night and tell you guys everything. How I feel that it went. Things we didn't show, etc. So let me do what I got to do. Take my girl to the airport. And then I'll give you the conclusion. Okay, babe, so let's conclude the girls night vlog. So I'm gonna post the itinerary on here so that way you can use it if you want, but you'll just know everything that we did in girls night because some of the stuff like, you know, you're just living in the moment, you don't remember to record. So the itinerary is there, use it, steal it, whatever. So girls night was cool. It was actually more than cool. It was amazing. It was so fun. I needed like a girls night with my girls. Like I just needed one of those. I'm glad 95% of the girls showed up. One girl didn't show up. She is usually a flaky type of girl. So I would expect that from her and her excuse just was not up to par. And I just decided that I don't really want to, you know, like kick it with her anymore just because it's just, it's a whole thing anyways. But to the girls who did come, just thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Like, I'm so glad that I've been able to make these friendships and new friendships as well, and just be able to spend time, quality time with girls who have things in common with me, who like to do the same things as me and just have a good time and not have to like completely turn the fuck up. So based on the itinerary, let me say this, we were not on schedule. <laughs> and I will say, if you are black, and you know that you're going to be on black people time. I would say time stamp your itinerary two hours earlier than what you really want it to be. Because we were just behind. Like certain things took us longer than expected. And like we were just taking our time living life, you know, like just doing girly things. Like we weren't really looking at the clock. So I will say that we we didn't get done with everything until like midnight. So we were definitely like two hours behind. But it wasn't. We're grown. You know what I mean? So we can, you know, spend extra time out and like, you know, it wasn't like we had a bedtime, but it just, you know, so there's that. Also, I feel like I had like way too many snacks. Like there were so many snacks that didn't get ate. So just be mindful. Like if you're going to do girls night, like just be mindful how many people are coming. Like, and also just ask, ask like what they like, what they don't like. So that way you're not just buying random shit. I just bought a whole bunch of random shit. Like <laughs> I wasn't like really worried about who likes what i was just like let me just have a whole spread on this motherfucker and if they eat it they eat it if they don't okay whatever so that was one thing that i feel like you can just be mindful of you know so you're not just super wasteful about stuff me and lex made the pasta and the pastas were a big hit hers had a little spice and kick to it mine was just regular spaghetti and the girls loved it they ate it up so that's a plus but all in all i feel like Again, this was just a much needed night. We did games, we did a competition. Like I just love doing random shit, random fun shit. So it was so worth all the stress of like getting everything together, putting everything together. Like it was so worth it. So I will say that if you plan on doing a girls night, yes, it's stressful to get the people together on the same date, time, you know, that's the stressful part and getting all the tools and, you know, stuff that you need, the food and everything, that's stressful. But once it's, once you're in it and once you're experiencing it, it's so worth it. The girls had a good time. They seemed like they were having a good time at least. <laughs> and obviously like they had their little gift bags and like the next day I thank them for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. I hope you guys do this too. Like even the guys, like I hope the guys like have a guys night or something like plan stuff, have an itinerary, have people show up on time and cook and play games, all of that stuff. Like it's not just for the girls. Okay. It's for the guys too. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and until next time. Bye.